Hey guys, it's Gabs here, and I'm finally bringing you the wave distortion effect that everyone's been asking me about. I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram asking me how I do this effect, and it's actually quite simple. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I do is use the quick selection tool to select my subject, and I go back and further tweak my selection using a mixture of the um, polygon tool, the lasso tool, and the magnetic tool. I just find this is the quickest way to select subjects now for me personally, but you can select your subject however you want. Yeah, so here I am just further cleaning out the image. I'm not too bothered about some hair sticking out. I then right click the um, selection and refine the edge. Here I am just further adjusting the edge detection and adjust edge tools. Um, yeah, so play around here. Um, it's completely up to you how you want to do this. It depends on your subject, depends on what you want. Okay, here I am just making sure everything is good. I then duplicate those layers twice. And then what you're going to do is go to the filter, distort, and wave. And here I am just tweaking as much as I want. It is seriously a lot of trial and error, guys. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, play around here to get what you want. I'm basically just guessing here. I don't really think that um little preview box is that helpful. But yeah, I just felt like this was a good one. So what I did is then use the transform tool and rotated it, stretch it out a little bit. So yeah, that's the first step basically to getting um, your distortion with the colors that you want. I then duplicate that. And if you want to get more of a wispy effect, you can press Command F or Control F if you're on PC. And it then applies that effect to that already applied layer. So here I am just basically adjusting to what I think might be good. and. Oh yeah, here I'm basically using the quick mask and cleaning up some lines that I felt weren't really necessary. And I'm just adjusting again. In this case, you basically can just play around with this effect. So here I am now going back to the top image and cleaning up the lines using the um, quick mask. This is good because you're working non-destructively. I highly suggest you learn um, how to do quick masks if you haven't already, because it's super useful. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and retrieve um, those lost pixels, basically. It's not really necessary to do this part, I guess, if you do a better selection in the beginning than I did, but I just like to clean things up because it just makes the image you know, just a little bit more better in my eyes. And once you're happy with it, you can just go on and save it. And there you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, I'd love to see what you do with this effect with your pictures. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, my handle is at Gabrielle Salonga. And if you have any more questions, yeah, just feel free to DM me and I'll try and help out as best as I can. All right. Have a good one, guys.